Hi, Alex Kolaskov is you again and uh, today I'm going to show you how we do our underwater photography. Uh, first what we need is a tank. Uh, just regular glass tank, uh, doesn't work for me. What I did, uh, I just cut glass and uh, using that uh, waterproof uh, aquarium sealant I did this water tank. I don't know how much gallons it in it, uh, but you see the dimension is uh, like this. I need it uh, relatively wide, and uh, the, the, the height is just just what I need. Uh, so the tank. Then, okay. So the setup, initial setup. Uh, it's like this. Shooting table. Any other table will work just fine. Uh, the tank is here. You need to have uh, some kind of uh, seamless background. So what I did is to hang uh, just a paper roll and uh, I fix it with a scotch tape here. And it makes very nice and uh, seamless uh, surface on, on the background. We're going to shoot not just something underwater, not like we put the object and we shoot it straight from here. It's not really interesting. Next we'll do something like this, uh, and probably next uh, tutorials. But today uh, I'm going to shoot it on such angle. It's a camera positioned low, and when we fill the tank with water, it will be something like this. The surface will work as a mirror because of angle of the camera. Surface will, will reflect every, any, everything. All light coming from here will be reflected to the camera. Nothing will go from that side. Uh, that's what exactly we will need because I'm going to highlight a background with uh, different color gels. And uh, that's what we will see on the underwater surface. Okay, this is our object uh, for this shot. Nice, uh, what is this? Dual shampoo condi conditioner. Uh, we fix it like this using just regular wire and scotch tape. And here we'll use uh, an arm to, to hold it the way we need, we like in aquarium. Okay, let's go. Do you know what this is? Uh, aquarium glass cleaner uh, to clean our aquarium from that tiny bubbles which start building up as soon as we fill it. So we use this nice movements to get rid of that bubbles. That's when we use when you use uh, tap water. Uh, okay, here is the stop. We use this uh, arm to fix the wire and our bottle. And you see how it looks. No hand, right? No hand at all. It's a mirror. So, everything from this part will be. Woo, 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 where is my focus? Will be reflected from that mirror. And when we position camera like this, we may get some nice results. Okay, this is our gold gel, gold color. Uh, we're gonna use it for the ground. So we put this nice gel on our LNB. No, it's not LNB. It's white lighting, 1600. It should be quite powerful uh, flash because. Because of camera position, we need to have uh, kind of deep depth of field. 
So I'm gonna use uh, f16, maybe f18 aperture. And uh, with it such small spot, it's 10 degree uh, honeycomb grid, grid, which probably, I don't remember, but it's maybe like three or four stop of uh, light reduction. So we need nice powerful light here. And uh, let's start from a simple setup. So one light on the ground and I'm uh, going to pull up this uh, Alien B uh, 800 by second flash unit uh, with uh, beauty dish. And a quick correction, uh, we just had, instead of uh, beauty dish, uh, we're going to use a small uh, 7 inches probably reflector with a 20 degree honeycomb grid on it. Uh, here we ended up using two uh, gels, one is like brown, one is kind of yellow gold, uh, that will give, give us a closer color to the bottle color. And as you see, the one light source is not enough here. I'm going to add one more uh, on behind, just to drive a nice curve around the, the bottle. So, same unit, Alien B uh, 400. It shouldn't be a lot of power here because it's just a little accent uh, with the light that age. Now, one more light. Because I like more lights than less, <laughs> so I'm using it everywhere. After going back and forth, the final setup looks like this. Uh, one spotlight on top, one on behind as a hair light, and here we add uh, just a little reflector to, to kind of make it smoother. Now, we have this uh, all little bubble up built on, uh, covered our bottle, so I use just uh, some brush to nice clean it. And uh, now we're going to try uh, to add one more light uh, to highlight the background. You remember we had uh, this uh, reflection from the surface, but uh, black, actually it's a gray, but because we didn't put any light in it, it was black uh, background. So now I use this uh, kind of orange gel with honeycomb as usual to highlight the rest of our background. Okay, and now the most serious work. Put in the water, bubbles and all this stuff to apply. Let's go. Three, two, one. And we check it on the uh, computer. We do should tether it uh, using Adobe Lightroom Beta. It's nice, but sometimes it just hangs up. But so far it's really good. So let's continue. We probably need to do like 10, 15 uh, Three, two, tries. One, one more. Nice. Okay, we enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. That's our first uh, tutorial about shooting the water and uh, objects underwater. I hope we'll do much more. I also think we can uh, discuss any questions you may have or suggestions uh, on my blog uh, at akillstudio.com slash blog. Mm, I will be glad to answer any of your questions and talk to you. Okay, and now I'm saying bye.